I'm often asked how women should be doing Kegel exercises. My first response is, I'm gonna send you to our physical therapist because she's really the expert and she can test whether you need to do Kegels or in fact, if you have hypertonus, if you have high tone muscles, in which case you shouldn't be doing them. But if you know you need to do Kegels, there are two rules of thumb. First, Kegel is a two-part exercise. You need to tighten your muscles and you need to relax them. If you can't do both, then there's, you're not doing them properly. In fact, when you learn to do Kegels, you'll do, probably start with 10 very quick hold and release, and then 10 that you're gonna hold them for 10 seconds, release for 10 seconds. Um, it's, you're squeezing on your muscles as if you're stopping a flow of urine. But years ago, I had somebody who gave me a great description on how to do a Kegel. Just picture that you have an elevator going straight up your spine, and you're lifting yourself right through your spine, right out of the top of your head and that will give you a strong Kegel. Remembering that you need to release afterwards because if you can't let go of that muscle, you're not going to strengthen the muscle.